okay, that's gross. Like you're mm-hmm. making me feel uncomfortable, mm-hmm. like right. saying that. And then he was like, no, like I would have locked you in a cage and you would never have escaped. And oh my like, god. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cam Korea, the Korean and American experience here in Seoul, Korea. I'm Pill. I'm Susie. And today we have Laura, the human. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi. <laughs> Laura is an adventurer and just all around great person. Aww. And I wanted to bring her on the show to get to know her and have her share her story with all of you. Yay. So, <laughs> so dating, how is dating in America versus Korea? Uh, like, like the type of dating? Well, like I'm a super awkward person. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I guess, uh, like back in the States, like I worked in bars and like, I like be out with friends mm-hmm. and like I had a social kind of network where I could meet new people and stuff. So that was okay. And in Korea, it's a little bit different, like because the foreigner community is a little smaller, right? You have a lot smaller of mm-hmm. like a right. range of people that you would meet or like get to know. Um, mm-hmm. it's a little, it was a little difficult. Um, and uh like had some not great experiences like just like meeting people really uh, in korea yeah Why? i think i told you about the worst date that i've ever had in my entire <laughs> life um you mean when we met each other like a year ago yeah 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 um, okay so uh there was a bar that i used to like frequent mm-hmm. uh, with my buddies and so we'd like go there and like you know they'd let us like choose the music to play and like they'd always like play darts with us and stuff and mm-hmm. it was always like super chill um it closed it's really sad wu-tang themed bar Wu-Tang themed. <laughs> but i forgot why the date <laughs> da- i don't know the particulars of why the date sucked so bad uh so uh the guy was like hey come out with me i was like no nah, like i'm not really interested he's like you just haven't met the right person yet and i was like uh, <laughs> all right like fine let's go <laughs> um so like he came by and like uh like i had him pick me up like at the station mm-hmm. um and so he, like picked me up in his car and i was like okay cool and he's like i'm gonna take you to this place that's like like super has super good like smoked duck and i was like i love duck yeah, yeah let's right. do that. and then like we're driving out there and it's like kind of in the middle of nowhere and i was like where is this place? So from Seoul, he's like, let's go have duck and just drove and kept driving. Oh, uh, so not from Seoul. I live in Sangnam. Okay. So like from Sangnam and like he, it was in Sangnam, um, just like kind of out there, like somewhere where I, as a foreigner, I would have not had access to. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so like he took me there and then like in the parking lot, um, he's like, so I have to tell you, like this place is kind of known for like the Ajima and Ajashi, like, you know, like hookup like hiking hookup oh, oh, what, what? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like what do you mean what <laughs> um, yeah Koreans they go to those places to get hooked up what do you mean yeah. the older gener- older yeah, people yeah, yeah. I guess so yeah like the like older ajumma is like yeah I'm gonna get some dude and just like, walks up Mary, the hill married ajumma and married yeah. so they join like hiking clubs and yeah. like go hiking and then like you know it usually takes like all day and so they'll like go eat and then like stay at like a hotel or yeah. like somewhere and then they like hook up with other people, I guess, or like do it in the woods. Apparently, what? Oh what? I've seen, seen it? signs <laughs> in, like that say like "Don't take off your clothes and do oh, things in the woods." No, oh my God. are you serious? Like the older the Ajima. Well, it, I mean, it doesn't like specifically like, say like Ajima. Right, right. Don't do that. <laughs> but that's no. actually common in Korea. Yeah. So like there, there's like those kind of words like "Don't send your husband to a hiking club." Yeah. So I didn't know this because I love hiking. So I would like go and then like I told this guy like on the state like I was like oh, like Ajima Ajashi hiking thing right? right. I was like oh I like hiking like what's wrong with that and he's like that's where they hook up. <laughs> yeah, I was like <laughs> and he's like you you probably shouldn't tell people you like hiking and I was yeah. like oh it's okay. Like- <laughs> Well. It's like, whoa, she's a little saucy. <laughs> she likes the mics. Yeah. So apparently I sent the wrong message there. So like th- that went fine, right? Like we actually had a good conversation. I was like, right. okay. And he's like, um, so you said you had a lot of work to do. Like, do you need to go home right now? I was like, well, like this one, okay. Like, let's, yeah, we can go like have a drink somewhere. Right. And What's so, the next stage, right? Um, so uh, we went uh, to... Uh, I, like somewhere else in Sangnam and he's like well like I'm gonna be a responsible individual and not drink and drive and I was like oh like 
great. Wow, so you want me to get drunk and plastered. <laughs> um, no, no, no. <laughs> like, he was like, let me drop off my car at oh. my home. Oh, okay. Right? And I was like, oh, like, look at you being responsible and stuff. That's great. Um, and so, like, dropped off the car. And then he was like, I have to take my keys up. And I was like, okay. He has to, t- he have to, he has to what? I, like, take his keys up to his place. Because oh, he, like, parked okay. it, right? Um, and he doesn't have a pocket? Right, I was thinking Well, that. that's what I was thinking, too. And so I was like, what, why? And he's like, I'm Korean, so, like, I live with my parents. And they're going to think that I was drinking and driving if I don't take the key up. And I was like, why don't you just, like, tell them <laughs> yeah, what it, you're doing? And he was like, I don't know, I need to do that. Or maybe like, it, was his, it was his parents' car. Maybe. And he's like, Mommy, here's Probably. your car keys. Probably. I <laughs> okay. don't know. But right. uh, I was like, okay, well, I'll just like, wait for you out here. And he's like, you can't do that. There's like creepy people around here. Like, so you have to go to my place. Well, he, he was like, like come <laughs> inside. Much. And so I was going to wait in the foyer area. Right? right. And so I was like, okay, fine. So like we go into the foyer area. And then he's like, no, like there's no like lock to get into this area. Like they can just walk in. They're going to see you. You're pretty and like be oh creepy. God. He's like, just like come upstairs. Like I live with my parents. Like it's going to be fine. Like no, no big deal. And I was like, okay, fine. Um, like nothing can go wrong here. And like, I feel, I know that seems like kind of creepy, but like I can take care of myself, I guess. I feel like strong enough mm-hmm. to be able to handle myself in a situation. So I was like, uh, I'm kind of weirded out, but okay, like, I'll, like, come up to, like, your floor, but I'm not going anywhere else. Like, I'll just wait by the elevator. Right. And um, so, like, I wait by the elevator, and, like, I hear him, like, oh, like, hi, mom, blah, 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 like, all in Korean. And then, like, like, I get the gist of, oh, you're back already from your date. How did it go? And he's like, uh, I'm just dropping off the keys. I'm going to go. And she's like, why? And then, like she's still here. We're going to go have some drinks. And then she's like, bring her in here right now. Bring the child to me. (laughs) Like I was like standing out there and I didn't, I didn't understand a lot of Korean at the time. I just like kind of got like the just, I was like, Oh fuck, fuck, (laughs) fuck. I was like pushing the elevator. I've seen this in a movie. (laughs) Damn it. Um, And he's like, my mom wants to meet you. And I was like, Oh my God, I don't speak Korean. She, he was like, she speaks English. And I was like, Oh, Oh my God. Okay. Um, I was like, I feel really weird and awkward about this. And he's like, no, it's okay. Like this is normal. And I was like, okay, maybe this is part of a Kore- the Korean culture that I just don't understand. Like maybe this is normal. And so like, I like go in like to the area where there's like shoes. Right. Uh, and I was like, Hey, she's like, Oh, you're so beautiful. Like, take off your shoes and come inside. Uh, and I, I like your like, skin. <laughs> she did. I was like, I don't know about this. She's like, take off your shoes and come inside. I'm like, okay, yes, ma'am. <laughs> wow, really? She was like, aggressive like that. Like, yeah, like, ser- wow. like just like the, you know, the mom, like, voice. Wow, right, so, like, right. go in and, like, I sit on their vinyl-covered couch. <laughs> and I was just so awkward. It's like, where are you from? What are your intentions with my son? Um, how many children do you want to have? Um, asking a lot of questions. Uh, and That's... I felt very awkward. And right. so I was like, uh, and like sweating like profusely. Yeah. Like, right. mm, I don't know. This is, this is their first date. Um, <laughs> it's been an hour, my, ma'am. <laughs> I, I met him like three days ago. Wow. <laughs> That's not normal. No, I found out later that it was not normal. The guy's weird. Yeah. Super fucking He doesn't weird. have any respect. No. I, I remember the story now. Yeah, I thought he like yeah. wouldn't let you leave. Uh, so like, like kidnapped you pretty much. This is only the first half of the story, Pill. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that's just half the story. What happened? <laughs> All right, so after that awkward exchange, uh, like we go to like a bar nearby, and uh, he said the station was like really close. So right. I was like, all right, no problem. Um, and I was like feeling kind of like you know like super high adrenaline and like feeling super uncomfortable. And uh, so we go in there and like have a beer. And uh, he was like, yeah, sorry, my mom was a little bit like forward. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Moms can be pushy. Hey. It's all right. It's like, <laughs> This is just something that I don't understand. It's fine. Whatever. Um, <laughs> How much um, Korean culture did you actually um, know about at I, that point? I had it only been here for like probably six months or less at that point. So mm-hmm. like nothing. I knew nothing. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, beer, about three quarters of the way through the first beer, mm-hmm. um, he started like getting kind of loose and like, <laughs> right. right. He's a lightweight. Um, he started turning red. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, I was like, 
This is like Cass. This is water. (laughs) 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 Um, And then he's like, ah, blah, blah, blah. Like, if my mom wasn't there, like, maybe we would still be there. And I was like, maybe not. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, I'm not sure you. I don't. I don't know if you know what that means. Like what mm-hmm. exactly you're saying? Because like his English was like pretty good, but right. it was like a little lacking, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and so, um, like he was like, "Oh yeah, no, no, no." Like so, know. he was Korean American. No, Korean, he Korean? was Korean Korean. Right, right. And uh, like he just like like studied abroad a little bit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, and uh, oh, sorry. So it, so. He gets a little drunk. Yes. And he's pretty much insinuating, no mama, it would be all good. And like, it, I would still be in that apartment. Right. And so I, I was like, okay, that's gross. Like, you're mm-hmm. making me feel uncomfortable, right. like, saying that. And then he was like, no, like, I would have locked you in a cage and you would never have escaped. And oh, my like, God. What? <laughs> Is he a psychopath? And that's what I, I was like. <sighs> Do, do you do you know what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> did you did you get that from a movie or something? Like, wow, that's like Hannibal Lecter type yeah, of Yeah, right. I, I was so freaked out. I was like, uh, and he's like, no, ha 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 ha. And I was like, like, I don't think that's a funny thing. Like, I think that maybe you think this means something, but I'm taking it in this way. Like, right. I'm taking it mm-hmm. as like you're going to lock me in a cage and never let me out. Right. And he's like, no, it's just like because you're like so perfect. Like, I just want to like keep you forever. Ever. So it's like the worst possible mm. pickup line just gone wrong. <laughs> it's like you're like, so beautiful, I'd put you in a cage. Well, like he said that, but then like he went back and got creepy again, oh, and right. I was like, Ugh, all right, I think I'm gonna go to the bathroom and um, like go. Did you run away? Um, and so like I went to the bathroom, but this is like like a Hof kind of place, and so like the okay. bathroom is like outside, like like some cold place. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, like, I go out there, I have my jacket on, like, find the bathroom, and I'm like, oh, my God, it's really cold. So I, like, peed, like, the super fastest I've ever peed mm-hmm. at ever. <laughs> um, and so, uh, like, did that, uh, and, uh, like, washed my hands, and, like, went to open the door, and I almost hit him in the face. With and, the like, door? Yeah, because okay. it was, like, a co-ed, like, bathroom, mm. right? For It was just, like, one stall, right. and, like, that was it. Um, and so, like, I almost hit, hit him in the face as I was leaving, and um, he was like, hey and like there was like a wall next to him and like he had the door and he like started putting his hand out like this like like Uh i was like locked into the bathroom right and i was like oh (laughs) and like kind of like like football like like uh, like went through and then he grabs my arm and i was like ah like let go of me he's like just come in here with me i just want to like have you wait with me i was like i'm not gonna go in the bathroom with you and he's like no come on come on and then like there happened to be like an ajashi walking by and i was like like screaming like help 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 to the Odyssey. And, oh uh, my God. and like, he wasn't looking because, oh. like, people mind their own business here, yeah. right? And, like, I said something in Korean. I don't even remember what I said, but he, like, looked over and, like, saw, like, the fear, just, like, fear in my mm-hmm. eyes, like, help me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was just like, and the guy was like, oh, and, like, let go. And, like, I, like, ran, like, right. to the, um, to, like, get my purse and stuff. And, like, he comes back in and he's like, well, I guess I'll walk you to, a taxi and i was like i'm good man (laughs) i think i think i'm good and so like i'm like going and he's like no like you can't find a taxi here like i'll take you somewhere where you can get a taxi i was like i don't want to go anywhere with you there's a major intersection up there i see it i'm gonna go there like where there are people um and so uh do you think that was um mostly because of the alcohol or because some cultural ignorance as far as him I really think that that guy was a fucking creep. Um, Yeah. Yeah. yeah, He's a psycho. Yeah. Like, why would he take me up to his, like, home, like, on the first date? Because, like, I found out later that in Korean culture, like, people don't find out that they're even, like, the parents don't find out that they're dating somebody until, like, they're about to get married. Like, it's, like, super serious. And so I was like, oh, gross. Like, what happened Mm -hmm. here? Like, that guy was just weird. Right. He just wanted to lock it down from the first date. Like, legit. (laughs) Like, literally lock it down. I really don't want to. No, thank you. No, thank you. I really don't want to say this, too, but then, like, I think their families are kind of weird, too. Like, making you to come in yeah on on your first date but like i don't know if she realized right that, right maybe like, maybe the mom thought it was like the 10th date yeah i don't know but what she, she told was she told her that it was your first date right um i did tell her like later and then like she was like oh okay <laughs> she's like oh super awkward <laughs> yeah. like i mean like she was still oh. being like kind of like 
Right. Okay, you guys all make beautiful children. Like, oh, no, no, <laughs> good man. Was a guy a geek, kind of? Uh, I don't know, like... Well, I mean, if he was a super geek, you wouldn't have said yes, right? I mean, like... I mean, like, geeks are cool. But, like, like, <laughs> no, like are they? Like, um, the loser <laughs> geek. Well, like, I met, like, whenever... He was in a bar, right? And he mm-hmm. was with, like, two of his friends, and they just got off work. So he was just, like, like dressed in, like, work clothes mm-hmm. with his friends. Mm-hmm. So, like, just a normal, like, guy, right? So that was one of your first cultural experiences. Uh, as far as I don't know Korea. if you would call that a cultural experience, like because it was not like it was not like right. a Korean. It wasn't like a normal life. thing. Yeah, it was very right. abnormal, and like if that was like definitely the worst date I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah, that's an interesting that's story. I remember that very clearly. Now it's yeah. like, uh, yeah, he wouldn't let me leave. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, yeah. he wanted to keep me yeah. in the cage. The cage one. That cage. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> So, um, yes, exactly. Oh, so creepy. <laughs> I feel your sentiment. <laughs> so, when you were in Missouri, you didn't uh, know a lot of Korean at all, right? Uh, so, uh, my only really experience with Koreans was uh, my godfather um, came here. Uh, he got stationed here as an army person, loved it. Um, and then came back later after he got out of the army to teach English. Mm-hmm. And so, like, he would send me these, like, letters mm-hmm. um, from Korea and, like, tell me about some of his experiences. And, like, some of the things, like, he talked about Itaewon. And this was, like, Itaewon in, like, the 90s. Right. So, the like, sketchy Itaewon. Yeah. And so, like, he, like, mentioned, like, some things. like, But, like, to a young person, like, he would, like, make it very glossed over. Um. And then he's like, yeah, maybe you'll understand you know, like what debauchery is whenever you get older. <laughs> and I was like, what's that? And then my dad's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but he actually married a Korean woman. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she moved back to the States. Um, and so like, she would invite us over and like cr- cook Korean food. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, they liked that I was, you know, like curious about the culture and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, I didn't get to experience that um, right. except through them. So. Cause normally, you know, when you have two parents, there's, you get the family on one side and the family on this side. You can experience different cultures like Italian and French or whatnot. Mm-hmm. But you didn't actually get to uh, meet the other relatives on your mom's side? No, 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 no. Right. Um, so my dad uh, told me that there are some family members that still live in Korea. So like, there's like a brother and a sister like somewhere. Um, but he doesn't like remember their names or like where they live now. Cause they don't live in the same place. Mm-hmm. Um, my parents actually came to visit, um, this, uh, summer and like, he wanted to go like see his old stomping grounds. And like, I was really curious about like where the farm was, like where my mom's family was from oh, okay. mm-hmm. uh, or I guess yes was from, originally yeah. yeah um so like we went up there and it's like totally changed now like oh. they like built a highway like near there and there's like a bar <laughs> near there oh. um and uh there's like still a farm but it's uh there's like a bunch of uh like kind of airbnb like bed mm. and breakfasty mm-hmm. kind of things over there too um like really beautiful countryside but he was like yeah this was not developed at all mm-hmm. like oh. this was all like dirt and like right um yeah. So um, you haven't seen your mom in a while, and you didn't get that Korean experience and the culture and the language from from what from what age? Uh, like, when was the last time like you know you talked to her and you could hear some Korean or learn about it? Uh, when so you were young? Uh, to be fair, I would say probably like age four or five. Um, as like they, my parents got divorced mm-hmm. because it just obviously like. Sometimes, like when you rush into those things, they don't work out. <laughs> it was a rush. It was a rush thing. Um, so yeah, they, like, were told. they uh, they met and then you know found out about me, the bun, <laughs> the bun in the oven. Um, <laughs> the and then, bun. What a beautiful bun, though. Uh, <laughs> um, and then uh, my dad like tried to do the right thing and like stepped up and was like, "Well, let me like take care of you and like do the things that I should do." So, right. Um, they tried it out and it just didn't work. No, it's very honorable, though, that he was, at that time, he's like, okay, I'm going to take responsibility yeah. and let's make this work. My dad is a wonderful dude. Mm-hmm. Like, he's a good, good, good guy. Right. Um, so, uh, anyways, uh, whenever they got divorced, uh, like, I guess Korean culture is, like, divorce is kind of taboo and right. stuff. Um, and so, like, she just kind of, like, jetted off and, like, moved to Hawaii. And, um, Hawaii. Yeah. And so, like, the last time I saw her was actually when she signed the divorce papers. And it was, like, my fifth birthday party Aww. or something. Oh, really? Yeah. I You're mean, like I didn't know. Kid? I didn't know. Like, like I was Mommy, like, oh, what are you Mom, signing? I'm like, eat my mermaid birthday cake. 
yeah, let's go play on the slip and slide. Do you kind of remember that? I do, like Aww. very vividly. Um, and then it was the last time I saw her. But um, like we kept in contact a little bit after that, but it was like through like postcards and like a few phone calls and like letters and stuff like that. And they eventually like went slowed down and like stopped. So was it like she left, <clears> there was <throat> silence, and then she sent a letter to you? And then you're like, oh, what's this? And oh, it's mommy. And then, well, or did like you reach told, out? Like she told me, like I was young, right? I right. didn't know how to do all that. So, um, like she would send me postcards, like, oh, greetings from Hawaii. And she's like, oh, like look what I'm doing with my life. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Um, and I didn't know, you know, as a kid, you don't know. Right. Just mommy just gone for now, yeah, right? Yeah. She'll be back, that yeah, kind of thing. Exactly. Right. Um, and then, like, later I like, realized that was not going to happen. Aww. So. Like, yeah. Like, what were you like in middle school or high school? And you're like, huh, I think uh, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Like, I think that, um, like, when my dad got remarried. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, when, when was that? That's about the time when I knew. <laughs> that's a big signal. Yeah. Right? When was that? I, uh, like, I think I was like six or seven. Oh. Um, oh, so that was actually pretty, <clears throat> pretty soon after, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, I don't remember when their wedding was, but I was like around that age. Like, it, mm-hmm they met like soon after yeah. so from especially from that point on it was just very very american uh, upbringing oh yeah yeah, yeah. like a small town mm-hmm. like country no other koreans in the area neighbors friends i was the only colored person mm. right yeah interesting do you consider yourself colored when you talk to other people like, like um like i don't i i feel very just well, I, I guess as a child growing up, I just felt like white. Like I mm-hmm. felt like everybody mm. else because right. I grew up with everybody else. It wasn't right. anything different. Um, but like people viewed me in a different way. Like a mm-hmm. lot of people did. Um, because actually when someone's half Korean or half Asian and half white, some people look quite Asian mm-hmm. and then some people don't look that Asian at all. So when I look at you, I, I didn't say, oh, she's half Asian, half Korean, half half white right away. Um, you know, some people just have different characteristics, right? In mm-hmm. the face. So I didn't get that vibe right away. Uh, Do other people when they meet you? Uh, yeah, definitely. definitely. Right away. Um, and it like, I guess because my features are kind of like, could be construed as like different ethnicities. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, a lot of people like, uh, like look at me and like see the qualities of their heritage. Right. Mm-hmm. So like a lot of people like, um, I don't know, like Hispanic people, they think that I am Hispanic. Oh. Um, I remember going to like a Native American, like in like Indian convention when mm-hmm. I was younger, and like they were like, "Oh, are you part of this tribe? You're one of us. <laughs> 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 You're not 100 percent white. You got to be one of us." <laughs> so like, it just depends on like the person's experience and like mm-hmm. you know what they notice mm-hmm. and what they recognize. Right, um, right. But like for me, like I identify as like growing up in like small town like white country Mm -hmm. like um but like i came to korea to kind of explore the other side that i didn't get to experience right and um like kind of always a dream like you know especially after my godfather's like letters like Mm -hmm. hey like come experience this and like you have to go drink (laughs) makgeolli and i'm like what's that my dad's like no (laughs) Um, but I uh, wanted to come here and experience it and like find out oh. about the culture for myself. Oh. So how do you like your life in Korea? Um, Korea is... Is it great? Yes, <laughs> it really, really is. How about the food? Does it, <sighs> is it okay for Girl, you? Girl, like, <laughs> let's talk food. Like, please. <laughs> um, I love food. Uh, I love all Korean food that I've mm-hmm. tried so far except like barring one um but i will try anything thrice mm-hmm. <laughs> anything thrice anything thrice um so bundegi first round uh, not so good okay um i tried it like uh it was at the the lantern festival on the river oh uh, the tong- yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tonggyeon? Tonggyeon. Right. yeah that's right uh and then uh i was with one of my friends she's very adventurous mm-hmm. and the, we smelled the smell and we're like what is that and she's like, I think that's the bundeggy stuff. <laughs> and I was like, what, what is that? And she's like, the bugs. The bugs. <laughs> was she whispering? <laughs> she was. <laughs> it's the bugs. The Koreans, they love them bugs. But how did you like the smell? Um, the smell was just kind of unique. It's uh-huh. not something that right. I had ever smelled before. So I was like, I'm not sure what that is. It didn't really smell bad. It didn't mm-hmm. smell like good either. It was just kind of like a smell that was new. Right, different. Yeah. And so she's like, do you want to eat them with me? And I was like, 
yeah, let's do it. And she's like, yes, my husband will never, ever do this with me. Let's go. And so like, she like grabs my arm. We like run up and then we order. And then, um, I was like, okay. Just s- spoons full or just like uh, one. Well, it's a toothpick. They gave oh, it to right, you. Right, right. Right. So we like, like I took two and I was like, all right, like, popped them in. And it was kind of like a little bit squish, like kind of like a rubbery squish texture. Mm-hmm. And then it kind of like, Popped. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know about this. I'm not sure. And then she's like, there's some like sugar or something, which like, let's try it that way. And so we did that. We like sugar? dipped it in sugar. Really? Yeah. There was like a, like a tray of sugar and like people were dipping it. And so I was like, okay. So I dipped it in sugar and I was like, Nope, definitely not that <laughs> way. Just the fun thingy? Like, yeah, yeah. Wow, I, I don't know that way. Okay, maybe oh. that was the wrong way. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like chocolate-covered ants, just putting sweetness on something, yeah, right? To I cover guess. it. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Did yeah. they sell, like, hot dogs or something? Too or no, only pandegi. Only pandegi. But that would be right because like, oh. normally Koreans they put sugar with on hot dogs. Right. The corn dogs. Uh, but But you ate that. That wasn't the one that's the food that you won't eat, right? Uh, no, I mean, like I tried it. I wasn't a big fan, but I would try it two more times, like from other places, yeah. because maybe like that place didn't cook it as well, right? Or like that place cooked it in a way that I didn't like it. Mm. So like you know, like even like back home, like maybe this place has really good barbecue, mm-hmm. um, and this place like eh, okay barbecue. Yeah. It's just the way they cook it. So <laughs> you think so? I don't know. Normally when it's I, similar. <laughs> when I see Bundy, it's like uh no, that looks disgusting. And yeah. I, I go to the next stall, it still looks disgusting. Yeah, I mean like. I haven't tried it again yet, right. so not that I wouldn't. I just mm-hmm. haven't like like been in the right place. <laughs> but you eat a lot of Korean food, yeah, yeah, in Korea.